Welcome back, Murdoch. In this episode, we'll recap class day, give more information about graduation, talk about bio MCAS, finals, and more today, May 31st, 2024. Welcome back to another episode of Blue Devil Weekly. I'm Tanner Bernhall. And I'm Hunter Cat. And we are your main news anchors. To get it started, let's talk a little bit about class day. The class of 2027, or the incoming sophomores, received the graduating class colors, blue and gold. While the class of 28 received green and white as the incoming freshman colors. Seniors received scholarships, and those who participated in clubs got their stoles, as well as students receiving their tassels. That's about it for class day. If you missed it, that's okay. You can watch it here on our YouTube channel. We have the weekly riddle. It is, how much dirt is in a hole that's two feet long by three feet wide? That's a good one. Don't worry. We'll show the answer at the end of it of the video. Spring sports are wrapping up. Let's chuck it over the sports desk for an update. Welcome back Murdoch. We are your sports news anchors. I'm Cohen Veyu. And I'm Jermani Andrews. We have a quick sports update for you this week, but we're going to start with our softball segment. Last Friday they played Fitchburg away and won 21 to 2. 21 to 2. Great win for the softball team. Good job. And they made the state tourney, and they played where yesterday, which we covered next week. Great job, girls. We'll cover that next week for you guys. Last Thursday, Varsity had their last game against Keefe Tech, which was home, where they lost 9 to 6. Don't forget that fall 2024 signups are now taking place. Cheer, cross country, field hockey, football, golf, and soccer are all being offered. Don't delay in signing up so teams can be formed and coaches can be notified. Head over to Arbiter Sports to sign up and don't forget to get your updated physicals to the office. That'll be all for this week, Murdoch. Back, Back to, to you, you in guys the studio. in the studio. Thanks, guys. A reminder that there is a banquet for any Murdoch alumni. It's tomorrow, starting at 6 p.m. Sunday is graduation. It will start at 2 p.m. taking place here at Murdoch, inside the gymnasium. Doors will open at 1 p.m. for any guests. That will also be live streamed here on the Blue Devil Weekly YouTube channel. That's right. Tanner, your finals are coming up starting Shoot. June 12th. Finals for period 1 and 2 will be Wednesday. Thursday will be 3 and 4. Friday being 5 and 6. And finishing Monday, June 17th, period 7 final. Attention freshmen. Biology MCAS is next week. Tuesday and Wednesday. A friendly reminder as a junior to study. It's important, but for now, let's drop it to Colin for the question of the week. Who am I here today? Jermani Andrews. Vinny. Jermani and Vinny, what is your message to the seniors? I love you, Jeff. I love you, Mark. I love you, Steven. I love you, Alex. Who's up? Mark should come over. What is the message you want to say to the seniors? Seniors, it's been real. It's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. Have a good life. What is your message to the seniors? I guess don't do drugs, pay your taxes, and don't get arrested. That works, I guess. What's your message to the seniors? Um, my message to the seniors is good luck, first of all. Travel. Get uncomfortable, because I think that's the only way that you can grow. I love you all, and I wish you the best of luck. What's your message to the seniors? I would like to wish them the greatest success in the future. I can't wait to see you graduate for more reasons than one. Um, I love you and good luck to you all in the future. What is your message to the seniors? I'm going to miss you guys a lot. What's your message to the seniors? Don't be stupid, but have fun. What's your message to the seniors? I hope you guys accomplish all of your dreams and goals. What's your message to the seniors? 
My message to seniors would be, first of all, congratulations. You did it. Um, also, go out there and do great things with your life and travel and take adventures and make good choices. Good luck. What's your message to the seniors? Stop making excuses, roll with the punches, and just keep going. It's all you can do. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Colin. We're going to skip it right over to our weatherman, Alex, for his last ever report. Thanks, guys. Welcome back, Murdoch. I'm your weatherman, Alex Blink, here to bring you this week's forecasts. For today, it'll be mostly sunny, with temps being around 72 during the day, dropping in around 48 during the night. For tomorrow, it'll be sunny once again, with temps being around 77 during the day, and dropping into the low 50s. For this graduation Sunday, it'll be luckily mostly sunny, with a few clouds. Temps being in the high 70s during the day, dropping in the mid 50s during the night. For the beginning of next week, it'll be mostly cloudy for both Monday and Tuesday. Temps will be in the low 80s during the day, and dropping in the mid 50s during the night. <laughs> this is my last forecast as the viewer weatherman. Before I go, I'd like to thank you all for your continued support for the last three years. It has been fun. Thank you all. This is Alex Blank signing off. And for one last time, back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Alex. That will do it for this episode. Sure thing, Hunter. I'll miss you as my anchor, man. I'll miss you too. I'll be back for the next. I'll be back next week for the last episode of the year. Let's go through that riddle. It was how much dirt is in a hole that's two feet long by three feet wide? None. It's a hole. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. If you want to see more of Murdoch, follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook at MurdochHS. Stay updated as this school year comes to a close so you don't miss out on any news over the summer. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we post. With that, I'm out of here. See you around, Tanner. See you, Hunter. I'll be back. Have a safe weekend, Murdoch. <laughs>